Hello, it's Gatula Fish, and I'm going to be talking about my Amazon sword plants today because they are not doing so good. So, as you can see here, they're, the tip of the plant is turning brown right here, and there's also brown spots on it. And then also on the leaves back there, you can see that there's holes in the leaves. And then also with this plant, it's not doing so good either. And so I'm going to be giving them some nutrients today. And so I have this awesome book, the Mini Encyclopedia of Aquarium Plants. And inside they have this um, drawing and I really like it because it tells you all the signs of nutrient deficiency. And so today I have these two things. Magnesium, where the lower leaves turn yellow. And that's what's happening. And then also yellow spots or holes between the veins and I'm having that too so I'm gonna be having some magnesium sulfate put in the tank today and magnesium sulfate is Epsom salt so I'm gonna be putting some of this in here I'm gonna be doing half a teaspoon per gallon so I'm going to be doing five teaspoons since it's a 10 gallon tank and this won't hurt the fish because I've used it to help fish diseases before. So I have a cup of water already here and I'm just going to be putting in 10 half a teaspoons of Epsom salt. Okay so there I got all the Epsom salt in there and I just wanted to point out one more thing on the bad bag it actually says plant food supplement uh, for bigger more vigorous plants and so that's really good so now I'm just going to stir this up because if you stir if the salt dissolves in the when it dissolves it can burn the fish so it's best to dissolve it into a different container so it's all the way dissolved and then put it in the tank and it will disperse and won't hurt the fish Okay, so all of the salt is dissolved, and now I'm going to pour it right into the tank. But I'm going to try not to pour it directly on any of the fish, but they think I'm going to feed them right now. Kind of see how it's cloudy. So now it's all dispersed. Kind of looks like heat waves if you look at the grass, and that's just going to disperse itself throughout the tank. And hopefully, it will help the Amazon sorts. And so, I'll do an update. And once there's an update, I will put it on the video um, right up here at the end. So you can go click on it and see how it worked. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and let me know the videos you'd like to see. Bye.